Burhan Nazir used to feel safe in his home. But now he's finding it increasingly difficult to fight off dark thoughts. I'm scared and I get nightmares of the incident. I see soldiers approaching as if they're going to shoot me again. I'm not able to sleep properly. I keep on waking up a few times during the night. My mind stops working sometimes and I get palpitations. Last month, as protests swept through Srinagar in Indian-administered Kashmir, Burhan was shot by paramilitary officers. He's been recovering ever since. Burhan's father, Nazir, holds up his son's x-rays and says at least 350 shotgun pellets were removed from Burhan's body. Yet, as worried as he is about Burhan's physical injuries, Nazir's equally concerned about his son's mental health. He has become violent and shouts that he will jump from the window. At night, when he is asleep, he shouts, they are coming, soldiers are coming. Then we convince him that no one is here, everything is fine, don't worry. Then I keep him on my lap and try to make him sleep. Healthcare professionals have long known of the mental health problems of people in Kashmir. According to a survey conducted by Doctors Without Borders in 2015, 45 percent of the adult population in Kashmir showed symptoms of significant mental distress. A growing number of doctors are now warning that India's recent move revoking autonomy in Indian-administered Kashmir and its security lockdown are limiting people's access to mental health care services in the valley. Some predict this will also cause a rise in the number of people with mental health issues. Obviously, mental, this uh, clampdown has an impact on uh, this mental psyche of the um, patients as well as the normal individual. Because this uh, clampdown has affected uh, uh, our um, all areas of the life, like we can't move out of our houses uh, as normally. Just last year, Zia Ulnisa began her career as a lawyer. Zia used to feel enthusiastic about all she hoped to accomplish in the future. That's all changed. Uh, when I go out of my home, I see shops shut down. There's uh, no vehicle on the roads, no, no nothing, nothing on the roads of Kashmir. When I come back, I'm confined to four walls of my house, of my home, and I cannot think about my future. Now, Zia is despondent. What next? What next in my life? How do I plan my life? How do I start my life, uh, my professional life, rather? So while all these slam downs, uh, while I'm sitting at my place, I get suicidal thoughts at the same time. I'm suffering from anxiety. With nowhere else to go, Zia says she can only wait and worry in this room, whose walls used to provide comfort, but now feel like they are closing in on her. Mohammed Jamjum, Al Jazeera.